new film out entitled Impromptu, another one coming out in August with uh, William Hurt called The Doctor. And uh, we've been kidding around about it, but I really think he's a marvelous talent. And oh. when you hear him sing, it's, it's as close to being in heaven as, as you'll get. Mandy mm -hmm. Potemkin. Thank you. First called Mandy in Evita. Remember Evita oh, sure. played Che Guevara, and I heard this voice, and I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't believe. So pristine. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. But you know, then later I, I discovered that you really never thought much of your singing. You acting was more of your game. Huh? Well, I sang in Temple, so I knew I could sing, and I was, uh, <laughs> I, I sang in the choir, and that was no big deal you to me. You took it for granted, in a sense. I fair. did, I did, and uh, I wanted to be an actor, so when. I got a little older. I mm -hmm. was almost going to say grew, grew up, but <laughs> I thought better of it. Um, uh, I uh, went to an acting school to learn how to be an actor. Mm -hmm. And you've also taken some singing lessons from the Singers Forum and Andy. Yes, who I also hear yeah. that uh, you a, have studied with. He's a great with. guy, and I've done a little My work with him myself. On the floor there. Now we have some of Mandy's work here. Sunday in the Park with George. This was written for you, wasn't it? Um, by Stephen? Well, I, I originated the part. Yeah. I, I don't think it was written for me. Didn't but he have you in mind when he would have put this down? Well, I think maybe, yeah. maybe. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> but isn't Why that not? To have a guy right up on my play. Well, Stephen Sondheim... You, you put Stephen Sondheim right up there with Shakespeare, I read. So I do. I think, think um, you know, when I was doing Sunday in the Park, uh, when, when you do the words over and over again, I've... I've been in a few different productions of Hamlet, and you sit in the vom and you listen to the words, and just when you think when you know what they mean, it means something completely different the next night because the, the words are so rich. That's the same with Stephen's stuff. The minute you think you know what mm -hmm. something means, yeah. the next night it's, it's so got a whole new meaning. Of yes, it's so many levels of simple that it... That was a beautiful show. Then I went to see Yettle. You know, here I am, big Mandy Potemkin fan. So I went to see Yettle, and you know, I love Barbara Streisand. You've got to say my name right or my aunt Ivy's going to call up. Isn't it? Mandy Potemkin. No. Oh. What is it? Potemkin, people think it's Potemkin because of the Cadillac people. Yeah. It, it, it's, uh, and it's not, so I cannot get you a deal on a car. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's Potemkin. Oh, Potemkin. Potemkin, right. Potemkin. Let's all say it together. <laughs> Potemkin. Very good. You've made my Aunt Ida a happy lady. <laughs> Aunt Ida, I'm sorry. How can you do that to sweet Aunt Ida? I, well, I just got my own name straight last <laughs> week. <laughs> Believe me. She'll write you a letter. <laughs> now, now we're taking care of that. <laughs> and I, I adored this film. I know it was much maligned by many people, but I thought it was an But the problem was he Mandy didn't sing. did not sing. That's my only complaint a about it. A monumental waste. And I went crazy in the theater I when know, that happened. I know. Did it break your heart not to sing? It did break my heart to yeah, tell you the truth. Sure. But don't feel badly because they spelled Barbara Streisand's name wrong on the back here too. <laughs> so it happens to everybody. Did you ask her or ask anybody why you couldn't sing? Or? Um, next picture. <laughs> <laughs> you, I heard you said in an interview you still to this day do not know why you didn't sing in that song. Yeah, let's talk about this picture. <laughs> <laughs> the Princess Bride. Well, no, no singing here either, right? <laughs> well, Julian. <laughs> Julian wants to ask Mandy a question. Don't you, Julian? Come close and ask Mandy this question. My name is Inigo Montoya. When you kill my father, prepare to die. <laughs> She's been saying that. Very See, good. everybody's a Mandy Patinkin fan. Right. Now, Mandy. See, when I don't do that for a while and, I, and somebody asks me to do it, it comes out a little too Jewish. <laughs> you did it very well. <laughs> Now, not much is known about Mandy, but of course, he's been happily married to Catherine Grody, who's a terrific actress and also an author as well, and who wrote this play, now, in, in, now it's in book She form. wrote this play called A Mom's Life that Joseph Papp produced, and Avon Books uh, loved it so much they asked her to novelize it, so she turned it into a novel and it came out on Mother's Day. <laughs> and it's uh, kind of a photograph of, of her life and what it's like to try to be a mother with two young boys mm -hmm. and, and uh, have a marriage and, and work, and it's very beautiful, and she has asked me to, uh, I, I also, I, I said I'll bring it and ask if she can come on this show one day and ask you. She said, this is from one mom to another, and it is for you, because oh, you're not you the mother. Thank you very much. And, uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, you'll enjoy it. Mm. And, uh, That'd be wonderful. I, I think, you know, read it, and she's, she makes, she's a great talker. <laughs> <laughs> and a good mother. And yeah. a wonderful mother. And a How great wife. How have you been married? We've been, um, 1980, we got married, and we got together in 1978. Mm. Well, that's wonderful. Secret Garden is, uh, is, is a big hit, huh? <coughs> yeah, it's just doing great. Mm -hmm. Gotta get down and see that. Movie. Oh, it's a wonderful experience. Um, 
it's, it's just so life-affirming. The, the company is beautiful. And it's a story about um, fighting all the demons and, and the nightmares and the ghosts in your life and doing everything you can to be alive. And it uses the garden as a metaphor for things for life. Li living, growing, dying, growing back again mm -hmm. the next season yeah. and changing. And it's just just a glorious experience. Oh, that's true. Well, we're going to hopefully go Absolutely see it. Absolutely. Excuse me, I, I read a review at the end that says it makes you believe again that God is, is in his heaven, you know, yeah. and cares. I mean, yeah. it's, that's a lovely review. It is. It's a, it's, I'm very grateful to be a part of it. I am. Yeah.